Welcome to another awesome Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a burn effect to text. The first step is to open a new document. You can choose whatever size you would like. Change the background color to black. After creating the new document, the next step is to type some text. Select the text tool, then select your font. I am using the Dragon font. Change the font color to white. Then click on the document and type your text. I am just going to resize and center the text for better visibility during this tutorial. To eliminate confusion, change the name of the text layer to Flame. Now we are going to duplicate the Flame text layer. Select the flame text layer, click layer, then select duplicate layer. Name the layer flame2. The next step is to create a new layer. Click layer, select new, then click layer. Name the layer burn, then click OK. Now fill the new layer with the color black. Select the paint bucket tool. Make sure the background color is set to black. Then fill the layer with black. Once the burn layer is filled with black, move the burn layer between the flame and the flame tool layer. Now we are going to merge the flame tool and the burn layer. Select the Flame 2 layer, click Layer, then click Merge Down. The next step is to rotate the Burn layer. Select the Burn layer, click Edit, select Transform. Click Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. With the Burn layer still selected, Click Filter, select Stylize, click Win. Use the default settings and click OK. We need to add the Win filter to the text layer two more times. Click Filter, then click Wind. Then repeat the process one more time. After you finish applying the Win filter, we need to rotate the burn layer. Click Edit, select Transform, click Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. The next step is to add a Gaussian Blur. Click Filter, click Blur, click Gaussian Blur. Change the radius to 2 pixels, then click OK. Now we are going to add some color. With the burn layer still selected, click Image, select Adjustment, click Hue and Saturation. On the Hue and Saturation menu, check Colorize, enter 0 for the Hue, 100 for the Saturation, and 0 for the Lightness. Then click OK. After adding the color, we are going to duplicate the burn layer. Click Layer, then click Duplicate Layer. Leave the layer name as Burn Copy and click OK. Select the Burn Copy layer. Click Image, select Adjustment. Click Hue Saturation. On the Hue Saturation menu, check Colorize. Enter 38 for the Hue, 100 for the Saturation, and 0 for the Lightness. Then click OK. With the Burn layer still selected, change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. The Burn Copy layer should still be selected. Click Layer. 
then click merge down. After merging the burn layers, move the flame layer above the burn layer. Next we are going to change the text in the flame layer to black. Select the flame layer, click the horizontal type tool, go up to the text menu and change the color to black. After changing the text color, click the layer style icon, select inner glow, enter the following settings. Change the blend mode to screen, change the opacity to 75%, noise should be zero. Click the glow color and use the following color hex code, FF7600. The choke is zero, the size is nine, the range is 50%. Once you finish entering the settings, click OK. Now we are going to add some direction to the flames. Select the burn layer, click filter, then click liquify. The liquify settings will come up. Select the twirl counterclockwise tool. Under the brush tool options, set the brush size to 100. Set the density to 100. Set the pressure to 100. Set the rate to 60. Now take the brush and move it over the top portion of the text in an upward motion. If you are not happy with the direction of the flames, hit the restore all button and start again. Once you are happy with the flames, click OK. There you have it, we just applied a burn effect to text. Make sure to check out my other Photoshop tutorials and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe for weekly Photoshop tutorials. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.